Good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Bo Dodson. We've got a cold front moving through the region this morning with showers and widespread thunderstorms. A few reports of hail even over southern Illinois. Marion area and Carrier Mills both reported nickel-sized hail over the past hour. It's 8.15 now. Uh, we did have some uh, hail reported in western Kentucky as well, mostly pea size in the Ballard County area. We put radar in motion. You can see the shower and thunderstorms moving east-northeast at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Once the line moves through your area, you can expect some light to moderate rain on the back side and falling temperatures. Temperatures will actually fall into the 30s later today over parts of southeast Missouri and southern Illinois. And then as the front sweeps eastward, you can expect 60s over parts of west Kentucky, the Pinaral area, into south central Kentucky. And then as the front moves through, temperatures will fall into the 40s this afternoon on strong northwest winds. Expect winds to gust into the 30 to 40 mile per hour range. Let's take a look at the regional radar. You can see the showers and thunderstorms moved in from southern Missouri overnight, moved into southeast Missouri early this morning, and then southern Illinois before sunrise. You can see they are moving at a good clip and should be in and out of the region over the coming hours. Uh, exiting uh, the Pinaral area of West Kentucky last. We could even see a few heavy thunderstorms today that may reach severe levels. Uh, officially, we do have a slight risk for severe weather over parts of Kentucky, mostly south central Kentucky. Uh, this light green area here, this is uh, where just general thunderstorms are expected. The, this green next to the yellow would be marginal risk for severe thunderstorms basically that means a couple of storms could produce hail and gusty winds and then the greatest risk for a few heavier storms that may approach or exceed severe levels would be in this yellow zone that would include the bowling green area let me zoom in just a little bit on that you can see it extends from near Murray, Kentucky into the Bowling Green area and that would be for the thunderstorms that would occur this morning. Again, once the thunderstorms exit your area, you're finished with storms for the day and then just some light to moderate showers on the back side of the system. Could even see a few snowflakes or snow showers, I suppose, as the colder air moves in, but we're not anticipating any significant snow, just maybe some flurries or snow showers. Let's take a look at future cast radar that takes us through the rest of the day. You can see the area of showers and thunderstorms pushing eastward as we move into the late morning and afternoon hours. Back it up here. This is future cast radar, and that's what radar might look like as we move through the day. Let me pause it here, take us to the 10 a.m. hour. You can see the showers extending from central Indiana back into west Kentucky and west Tennessee, but precipitation coming mostly to an end over southeast Missouri and Illinois. Still some showers remaining on the back side of the cold front. We move through to the lunch hour, 12 o'clock, and you can see the heaviest activity moving off to the east, perhaps still in the Hopkinsville area, Bowling Green area but most of the area should be in the light to moderate showers by then with precipitation ending over Missouri and Illinois outside of a few scattered light showers. You can see the snow to the north, even some snow flurries perhaps or snow showers in parts of our area, but no accumulation anticipated. Move through the afternoon. Here we are at the 3 o'clock hour. You can see some snow showers over southern Illinois. Again, nothing significant. Maybe some snowflakes in the air as the colder air moves in. Heavier storms well off to the east by the time we reach the 3 o'clock hour. Move through the evening and all of the precipitation moves out. Expect falling temperatures this afternoon behind the cold front. Matter of fact, temperatures are already falling over northern parts of southeast Missouri. That will continue through the day as the front sweeps eastward. Colder air on northwest winds, gusty 30 to 40 miles per hour. Have a great day.